Bitwise operators allow you to perform some basic actions with bits, such as AND, OR, LEFT SHIFT, RIGHT SHIFT and so on. Now you are maybe asking me, why would I need to use bitwise operators in game development? Because bits are really the smallest parts of the code which you can't even see, they are the ones and zeros that are running behind the scenes. But you should know about them, because they will help you to make your game more memory efficient, as well as perform some other actions, such as comparing the layers. In my Unity project I have a player and some other objects that have different layers. If you don't know about layers, you can set them right here in the inspector, just add layer. So I have some coins that are on the coin layer, I have also a ground, so that we can do some kind of ground check, I have enemies, which are on the layer enemy, and under the enemy I have also a head game object, so that when the player jumps to the enemy's head, it will kill them, and this is on the layer damageable. So what I want to do now, when the player collides with the coin, I want to pick up the coin and destroy it. When the player collides with the ground, I want to set some boolean is grounded to true, so that we can jump and so on. So how would we do that? There is many ways how to do the ground check, but for the purposes of this video, I will be using private void, on, collision enter, and if you are in 2D, make sure that you are using the 2D. One of the parameters of this void is the collision, which is containing the game object and all of that stuff. So you might be thinking that we can do if collision dot game object dot layer, which will get us the layer of the object. I have also made few variables of type layer mask, so that we can set each of these layers. I have the enemy, damageable, ground and coin layer. So if you want to, for example, check if the layer of the object is ground, you might be thinking that you can just get layer of the object and ask if it is equal to the, for example, ground layer. But this is not going to work. And why is this simple if statement not going to work? I have added two debug.logs, which one will just tell us the layer of the object that we are colliding with, and second one will tell us the output of the ground layer. So let's see what the debug is going to tell us. Okay. We can see the layer of the object is 7, which when I take a look at the grid and on the ground, you can see that it is on the layer 7, this is correct, but the output of the ground layer is just giving us the layer mask. So one thing that you might be thinking that can solve this issue is just when you have the ground layer accessing the value of this. This would make sense, right? It should give you the number 7, but again, this is not going to happen. So object layer is 7, but why the hell is the ground layer on the index 128? This doesn't really make sense. This is because Unity is handling all of the layers in a single integer. Integer is composed of 4 bytes, and each byte is composed of 8 bits. What is a bit? It is just a value of 0 or 1, where 0 is false, 1 is true. This is also why when you want to add some layer, there is exactly 32 layers, because they can fit into one integer. Here we have a binary representation of just an integer, which is holding all of the layers. So let's say that our object is on layer 3. So 1, 2, 3. This would be this layer. So the binary representation of the layer 3 looks like this. But if you want to convert it to normal volume, the output will not be free, because if you know how bits work, the volume of the first one is 1, then it is 2, 4, 8, and so on. So the third layer would have output volume of 4. The same way, if the current object is on the layer 7, then the binary representation of the layer would look like this, and the volume of this bit is 128. So this is why it is giving us this strange number. And now it probably makes sense why when we take the layer, which is the 7, and we would even compare it to the ground layer that volume, which is 128, is not going to work. And this is where bitwise operators come in play. Right now we will be using the left shift, which is just going to shift a byte by certain amount of positions. So what we can do is we can shift 1, by the index of the layer, 
which is the collision dot game object dot layer. What is going to happen now? So the input is just one, which in binary looks like that. And when we shift it by seven positions, and this is the left shift, so we will shift it to the left, it will look like this. So now from the collision game object layer, we are able to get the same binary as we have in the value of the ground layer, which is what we want. So this is how the final if would look like. We take one and shift it to the left by the number that we get from the layer index. And if this is equal to the value of the ground layer, it means that the object is on the ground layer. So this is one of the bitwise operators. So if this is true, we can set is grounded to true. And I have added another private void on collision exit where we are just setting is grounded to false. So here we have the is grounded value. Now it's true. Now it is false. And now it is true again. So this is working. The left shift is just one of the bitwise operators. Another one is obviously the right shift, which is going to shift the bit by certain amount of positions to the right. Another one is end. It is just a single end. We can take a look at these two lines. So if we do these four bytes and this byte, it is going to give us one only if both of these bits are one. So here, as it is one and zero, it would give us zero. Zero and zero also give us zero. The zero and one give us zero. So here it would be all zeros. If we would have, for example, one and one like this here, it would give us one. Just like that. So this is another way how we could do the if using the end. So we have the collision game object layer, which is this one. So we have one on the layer seven and the value of the layer, which the ground layer is on the layer seven, which you can see here. And if we do end, then it is going to give us one here. And if this is not equal to zero, it is going to work. So this is pretty much the same way how we can do the if comparison. In this case, no matter how many layers are on one, which right now there is three, this is still not equal to zero, so it would still give us two. Another useful bitwise operator is OR, which is just a single line like this. And when both of the bits are one, it's going to give us one. When both of them are zero, it will give us zero. When one of these is one, it is still going to give us one. So it would look like this. Two ones give us one, two zeros give us zero, zero and one gives us one. This can be useful when we want to set the is grounded to true on multiple layers. So let's say that I want to set is grounded to true on the ground layer, but also we could do it on the damageable layer. And we would do it just like that. We shift one to the left, again we have already done this, and then we have those two layers, you could also have as many of them as you want, and we are using the OR bitwise operator, so if we have those two layers, the ground layer, the volume could look like this, then the damageable layer, the volume could be this, and when using the OR, we would have two ones here, and then when using the AND bitwise operator, only one of these has to be true, in the collision game object layer. And don't forget to always get volume from the layer mask. So it is setting is grounded to true on the ground and it should do the same when I jump to the head of the enemy, if I am able to do it. Yes, you can see that it is still on true when I'm standing on the enemy, even though it is on a different layer. And then you could do something like this. So in just one void on collision enter, I'm getting the hit object the layer volume and then if the layer volume is either the damageable layer or the ground layer I'm setting is grounded to true. If it is just damageable layer I'm destroying the enemy. If it is the coin layer I am destroying the coin adding some score and in the on collision exit it is pretty much the same. So if it is either the damageable or the ground layer I'm setting is grounded to false. So we are still able to jump on the ground, but not in the air. I can pick up these coins, it is adding the score. I can jump to the heads of the enemies, which is going to kill them. Yep, just like that. 
Bitwise operators are not only used to compare layers in Unity, but it can also make your game more efficient. So let's say that you have multiple power-ups in your game, so you would need to have multiple booleans or integers to store if the power-up is active or not. And using Bitwise operators, you can actually store 32 power-ups into one integer. Why? Because the integer, as I said, has 32 bits, so we can set each of the values to 1 or 0, depending if the power-up is active or not. So this can make your game more efficient on low-end devices. I hope that now you have better understanding of bits, bytes and bitwise operators in relation to game development. If you have any questions, drop them down to the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye! Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you are looking for a Unity, C Sharp or Bolt tutor, then I am here for you, so feel free to send me a message to my Gmail and take a look at my website for more info. I can help you with your personal projects or teach you anything about game development you would want to know. You are welcome!